Um, It seems I heard a theory at some point that upon reunion, the adoptee uh, reverts to infancy. The birth parent goes back to the time of separation, then the terrible twos, then teenage years, then pulling away from parents. How much truth to this and how, what, and any suggestions for each stage? Who wants to do that first? I, I don't know. I haven't really seen that. I've seen a lot um, where birth moms are back in at that place where they were at relinquishment. You know, that emotionally, that part of them that was left, um, it, it got left there. It, got, it stayed just mm -hmm. the way it was. It was preserved in time in that fashion. And um, when you get to reunion, often you go right back there. So if you're 16 or 18 or 20, that's where you are. Um, I think for the adoptee, there's, you know, again, for me, there was just this longing for my birth mother that was so pervasive and so intense. Um, was that an infant's longing? I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I do think sometimes that there is a regression. Um, not every adoptee regresses back to childhood, but some do. And when they do, they really feel as if they want that kind of baby constant attention from the birth mother, for instance. They, they don't like saying goodbye and they want to call up every day and talk for hours. And it's sort of like, you know, falling in love, as they say. And, um, and, and yes, I've had, I've had adoptees say, well, Jean, you know, my birth mother seems as if she's back there being 16 again. I, then I feel like I have to take care of her. And so uh, I do think we get stuck in some kind of emotional phase where a trauma happens in our lives, no matter what the trauma is and no matter who we are or what age that is. So that's very, that's very um, possible. Um, I, I haven't experienced like going through all those different stages, although I guess when the teenage years comes and there's kind of testing out of the birth mother, you know, and I, there's a, a phase that I've seen um, in, with adoptees which I call abandoning the birth mother. And that's when they don't know what they're doing, they have no idea, they just don't have time to write, they don't have time to call, they don't have time for anything. But what I feel is happening is that unconsciously, they just want her to know what it was like to wait and wait and wait and wait and not hear from her. So they kind of do that to her. And um, if I know both parties, I can kind of help them know what this is all about and they can stop doing it because why waste any more time in your relationship, you know? But, um, but I've, I've noticed that sometimes, that there's this abandoning the birth mother. Maybe that's what they mean by the two, two eight, the, the teenage years. The terrible twos, that comes up in every relationship, I think, with somebody that you really care about. I mean, I'm always asking ad adoptees, how old do you feel when you're testing out your partner or, you know, that kind of thing. How old do you think you feel at that time? So, um, anyway, you're an adult, you answer. How you would handle that? Um, in my experience in working with adoptees and myself, I think um, we need to prepare ourselves for a reunion and process what it, all the fantasies and what it's going to be like. I think what happens when we're dealing with a birth mother who hasn't grieved the loss is she tries to fix it in the reunion. And that's when it can become secondary trauma. And all this grief comes up and she's trying to relive it through the relationship now, but she needs to grieve what has been lost. And I think that's where regression comes in, because one of my friends, she had reunion with her birth mother, and the birth mother was extremely tearful, clingy of her, and it overwhelmed her, and it, she needed to push away from her. She felt like her birth mother didn't do her own work. And here she was, she'd been in years of therapy, she was ready for the reunion, and she felt like her birth mother wasn't prepared. And she was the one who sought her out and searched for her for five years. So. I think there was a lot of regression on the birth mother's part because she hadn't done her work on her own grief and loss. I think, yeah. 
I, I do think it's helpful to do that kind of work and, and have a support group. Have, find a support group because you need the support of people who, who have been through this and who know what it's like. Um, so I hope that that's helpful. Yeah, people do go through different stages. And uh, you just kind of have to keep reminding yourself how old you really are. Mm -hmm. Which isn't easy sometimes.